Here's a look at some of the stories you need to know this morning. Governor John Bell Edwards says the state lacks the money needed to speed up the process to widen I-12 in St. Tammany Parish. It follows a letter parish president sent uh, Pat Brister sent to Governor Edwards last week asking for immediate assistance after a deadly accident that claimed the lives of four people. Governor Edwards says the project is on the state's to-do list, but could be would be 95 to 120 million dollars and blame legislature for not backing a state gas tax that would have helped fund the projects sooner. With more than 250 crime cameras across the city of New Orleans, residents in the Palm Air subdivision on Holly Grove want to know why none are serving their area. It comes amid high crime rates in recent years. The NOPD tells us they don't discuss specific locations under consideration, but a spokesperson for Mayor Latoya Cantrell says the administration overall is committed to expanding the program. A new report shows that nationwide Confederate monuments are being removed at a pace of about three per month. The study released by the Southern Poverty Law Center shows 110 monuments have been removed since 2015 following the racial motive, racially motivated shooting of a black church at the hands of Dylan Roof. The report says there's still more than 1,700 memorials remaining nationwide. This morning